I'm Dylan from the Bob Culturist. Nice to meet you, man. Good to meet you, mate. Thanks for coming yeah. out. Thank you. Guys. So, tell us a little about yourself. Uh, well, my name is Matt Doran. I'm an Australian actor. I uh, born and bred in Sydney. Sydney. So do you live in Sydney still? I do, yes. Yes, I do. Yeah, I love Sydney. I do love Melbourne as well. Yes. But, you know, I've got to say I'm a little bit biased, you know. I'm a, I'm a Sydney fan, you know. So you grew up uh, on Home and Away, is that correct? Yeah. As Damien? Yeah. yeah. How was that? It's uh, Well, it's never going to leave me, you know. People always remember. God love you. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, it was it was great. It was I was 15 at the time when I started doing that show. So, I mean, it was basically, you know, my, my school as far as, like, acting goes, you know, and... As far as jobs go, that's I haven't done anything at such a fast pace since then. Yeah, you know what, I mean? what was the working week like? Was it seven day weeks? Uh, no, back then. I mean, not, I'm not sure how they run it now, but I, back then it was five days a week, so your Monday to Friday. But I mean, yeah, they really push a lot as opposed to a film. They really cram it in. Hence yeah. the uh, you know the end product. You know, I like you know people like to bag it out, but I mean that's the way it is. What it is because it's just such a, a fast paced thing. They just you, you spend like maximum maybe half an hour on a scene and then bang, you're on to the next one. I think the most scenes I ever did in one day was like in studio. One day we shot 24 scenes in one day. My God. You know, and and what's the like prep time for a script? Do you get the script the day before, the week before? Um, now, normally you'll get like, it comes in blocks. So a block will be like, so I guess like five episodes. Mm-hmm. So a week's worth. And the way it works is you'll shoot like location stuff week one all the studio stuff week two but then when you go into week two you're shooting location stuff for the second block yeah. and doing studio stuff for the first block so it kind of doubles up how do you keep the continuity in your head doing something like that um you don't that's why it's so bad you know no 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 it's kind of, it's you kind of map it out you know and like i say that compared to doing a film yeah. like when you when you do a film and then you've got the amount of time to prepare for a film yeah. as opposed to tv you realize how blessed you are to have that yeah. that time you yeah. know and spend the time on mapping it all out because you haven't got any time at all when it comes to television you know it's like and i have to ask what was it like working with george lucas for star wars episode two i'm a big fan of star wars so i was pumped yeah very pumped um he didn't say too much to me um was he actually like interacting with you or it's just kind of like a little bit the I mean, second I, ad's or something I like mean, that you know my whole audition process was working with the uh you know the casting director mainly and we worked on this character and I actually read for a different character and then George wrote the character that I ended up playing based on my audition tapes. Oh, wow. And um, so I, I didn't really have a meeting with him up until the point a couple of days. I think I went in for a wardrobe uh, check and uh, he was he was hanging around so I went up and had a conversation with him and he was like, okay, great, you know, no, nice to meet you, welcome aboard. And I'm like, yeah, no, really, I'm, you know, it's such an honour to be here. And I had to ask, I was like, so just a quick question, what are death sticks? <laughs> And he kind of looked at me like I was an absolute fool, and he was like, they're cigarettes. And I'm like, oh, I've heard of that, you know, but I thought, you know, this being Star Wars, it could be anything, you yeah. know. Even the props guy turned up with these things, and he was like, and George was like, what's that? And he's like, they're sticks. And he's like, no, no, that's not what, they, no, just forget about it, you know. So, yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it was short and sweet, my experience on Star Wars, but being a big Star Wars fan, I was, uh, you know, I was, I was wrapped. Have you got the action figure part. yourself? I do, yeah. My mum's got that, and I think my nephew's got one as well, but he's bitten the head off it, so, you know. And was it actually like a practical set that you were in at that time? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, there's yeah, the bar scene, so... Yeah, yeah that, was, that was shot uh, in Sydney uh, in the Fox Studios lot, and that uh, was a great set because it literally was, like, one of the whole sound stages, complete size, all built up, you know. So I suppose as far as, far as like, one of the Star Wars sets, that was... You know, because they were, they were dealing with blue screen so much. I think everyone was, the crew were pretty wrapped that day because that was literally like all the creatures were there, you know, so it wasn't CGI. And so. finally, last question. Of course, we've got to ask, what was it like working on The Matrix? The b- original and the best, of course. Because oh, you had a fairly yeah. big part in that. I, I, I did, yeah. Again, very, very lucky uh, to be involved in such an awesome film. At the, uh, at the time that we were working on the film, I knew it was going to be great, but I didn't know it was going to be that good. Yeah. So. You know, when I read the script, it was like, wow, this is amazing. But to see it come out and be better than actually what I even read, it was, you know... And, I mean, it's one of those films that people still remember up, 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 up to this day. So I feel very, very... I mean, Star Wars is one thing, but being a part of The Matrix, it's like... Yeah. And as you said, it it's is... It's like Star Wars for the generation. It is one of the great, out of the three, it's probably one of the best. So I was lucky in that sense as well. So, yeah, I'm very, I was very happy to be a part of it. Excellent. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, guys.